hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys i will show you how to install the gen 1 windows from microsoft windows 10 operating system on your laptop or the system the steps will be same for the all in order to install the windows 10 operating system on your laptop or the system you need to have at least 8 gigabytes of usb so we will use the usb in this case to install the windows 10 so let me plug in the USB. So this is my USB E drive and make sure you don't have any data in it. If have, you can back up that. So in order to install the latest windows and the genuine windows from the Microsoft, open the Google Chrome and installing windows 10 is very easy. You just need to follow me on the search bar. You need to type for windows 10 ISO. Go to the first link, do not browse any third party link, just go to the microsoft.com Microsoft has a very good tool which is called the media creation tool to install the Windows 10. Click on download tool now. And with the help of media creation tool, we can directly make a bootable pen drive. So plug in the pen drive now. So in my case, I have already inserted the pen drive here. Click on yes button. This is my USB. Now you can cut it. Now we have successfully run the media creation tool here. You can see getting a few things ready. Just need to wait here some time. You need to make sure now you have connected with the internet, at least 4 to 5 GB internet you should have. Now you need to accept the terms and conditions. Now it will again take some time. Just be patient. Now you will see here two options. You need to select this option, create installation USB, flash drive, DVD, ISO, select that, next. Now select here the 64-bit operating system, mostly at the point of time, and then click on next. Now you need to select here your USB. So make sure you have plugged in the USB now, and it should be vacant. If there is any data on it, it will delete. So click on next. Now you can see I am selecting here the E drive. Make sure it's selected as a correct drive. Then click on next. This will automatically make the bootable pen drive. You don't need to do like you don't need to use any third party software in order to make a bootable pen drive this is the process again this will go to the hundred percent so let me pause the video and i will show you once it is done now it, it is 52 percent it is now 95 percent now it's verifying the download progress in a 0% it will also go to 100% as well now progress in a 65% after almost 30 minutes now the progress is 94% now if you see here the USB pen drive is almost bootable it's now 97% so we are almost done with the bootable pen drive now you will see your flash drive is ready click on finish now if you go to your usb you can see here all the bootable files are here so you can safely remove it and insert into the system or the laptop in which you want to install it So I'm going to install the Windows 10 in my Dell laptop. 
so i'm making the video with my phone so let's start so before installing windows 10 on the another computer you need to have the bootable key knowledge so in my case i'm using here the dell bootable key and i can see the result f2 or f12 f12 is basically bootable key hp bootable key you will see here f10 f9 escape key okay lenovo bootable key is f12 or the function f12 so you can choose accordingly in my case i will press the f12 on my dell laptop so here is my pen drive and let me insert into it into the usb port and let me turn it on here and we need to press f12 key continuously bootable key like this Now you will see here the UEFI boot. You need to select here the SanDisk, which is your pen drive. And once you select here the SanDisk, I mean the pen drive, whichever pen drive you have, you need to select that and you need to enter. Hit enter. You need to make sure that you need to win you need to boot your system with the pen drive so you can shift it to up and down but in my case i have selected that and just enter you can see window is booting now so i'm leaving it as default here click on next and click on install now If you have the product key, you can enter it here or we can enter it later. So I'm choosing this option. I don't have a product key. This option. And here you will see the option of versions, which version you are going to install. So I'm going to install Windows 10 Pro in my system. I have select the Windows 10 and click on next. Now we have to select here the accept and click on next and you need to select there the custom install windows only advanced click on that option. Okay here is the most important part in uh, where you want to install the windows 10. So in my case I am already using windows 11 8 so I am selecting here the D drive. If you don't have any drive here, just select that and click on delete and then format it. In my case, I'm going to choose this option. This is my D drive. So I need to click on delete. All the data will be deleted from the selected drive. Okay. Now you will see the unallocated space here. You just need to click on next. and it is going to install now let's wait for some time all five will be ticked and then restart your system automatically your system will be restarted automatically from here you don't need to do anything now just keep patience and your system will be restarted in a 10 seconds now you can remove the pen drive here pen drive work is done now Okay, just remove it. We are almost done now. Some settings we need to configure. Basic settings like user logins, its credentials, location and all. Now we need to select here the reason. So you can select accordingly. I'm going to select India here. Now 
मैन क्लिक ऑन यस कीबोर्ड लेआउट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग इंग्लिश इंडिया यस एडिशनल कीबोर्ड नो स्किप लेट्स कनेक्ट टू टू द वाई फाई आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कनेक्ट नाउ सो आई एम अनटेक दिस ऑप्शन सेलेक्टिंग हेयर आई डोंट हैव इंटरनेट दिस विल टेक सम मोर टाइम यू नीड टू सेलेक्ट हेयर कंटिन्यू विद लिमिटेड सेटअप You can name it here now. I am going to give it Dell and click Next. Pass password. You need to select here. I am leaving it blank. Next. You may have to select the answer and questions if you have selected the password here. Click on Accept. Cortana. I don't want to select this. Not now. we are almost almost done now almost ready now windows 10 has been successfully installed you can see here so one another final step you need to here is go to the wifi icons connect with the internet let me put the password here okay connect with the wifi and first of all update your windows here go to settings update settings then go to windows update since updating window is very necessary like your keyboard mouse and other component may not work properly so make sure we have already installed the latest windows windows 22s2 if i show you win we we are hit okay you can see 22s2 is the latest version here but still there is some pending updates on your windows you can see many updates here view optional updates driver updates select all from here you can use the mouse here if touchpad is not working so all are pending here just wait and let them install thereafter your all the issues is will be fixed if anything is not working So this is how guys you can install the genuine and the latest windows on your windows and any machine hope this video useful for you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix stack i will see you in the next video